we kick off Meadow TV Sports with football as Jamaica's senior reggae girls were on the wrong end of a 4-0 result against the world champions, the United States women's national team, in their friendly international in Texas last night. Riding high from last week's 1-0 victory over Nigeria, the reggae girls was brought down to earth by the USA team, who are preparing for the Olympics by staging the summer series, also featuring Portugal. Carly Lloyd became the oldest woman to score for the United States at 38 years and 332 days, as Lloyd's strike just 24 seconds into the match beats the previous record held by Christine Lilly of 38 years and 264 days. It marked her 125th international goal in 303 appearances. The U.S. is now 41 matches unbeaten, the third longest streak in the team's history. After Lloyd's opener, Lindsay Horan scored a penalty in the seventh minute to double the lead after Christian Press was brought down in the box. Midge Purse added another midway through the first half for her second international goal before Alex Morgan's 91st minute strike wrapped up the victory. On to netball news now, Janiel Fowler yesterday won the Battle of Jamaican Shooters with Romelda Aiken as the West Coast Fever defeated the Queensland Firebirds 79-69 in the Suncorp Super Netball League in Australia. Fowler scored 62 of 64 attempts as she led the Fever to a perfect 7 from 7 record. Aiken, meanwhile, was a perfect 40 from 40 for the Thunderbirds who have just won two of seven contested games. Also in top form was Shimona Nelson, who scored 55 of 63 attempts to lead the Collingwood Magpies to an emphatic 76-51 win over the Melbourne Vixens, the team of Cadian Dehaney. On to basketball, Chris Paul scored 37 points and Devin Booker added 34 points and 11 rebounds. This as the visiting Phoenix Suns defeated the Denver Nuggets 125-118 to last night to sweep the best of seven NBA Western Conference semifinal series. Nuggets star Nikola Jokic, the NBA MVP, was given a flagrant two foul and ejected late in, late in the third quarter. He finished with 22 rebounds. Now the Suns are reaching the Western Conference Finals for the first time since 2010. Having last been there through the 2009-2010 season, they will either play the Utah Jazz or the Los Angeles Clippers. The Jazz currently lead the semifinal series 2-1. Elsewhere on the night, Giannis Antetokounmpo collected 34 points and 12 rebounds. This as the hosts, the Milwaukee Bucks, rode to a 107-96 victory in Game 4 of the Western Conference semifinals over the Brooklyn Nets, who lost All-Star guard Kyrie Irving to a sprained ankle. The series is tied at two apiece and Game 5 is tomorrow in Brooklyn. Antetokounmpo matched his playoff high scoring game in this postseason by shooting 14 of 26 from the field. He scored 12 points in the decisive third quarter when the Bucs took control. The Nets lost all-star guard Kyrie Irving to a sprained ankle after he awkwardly stood on Giannis Antetokounmpo's foot on a layup. We bowl over to Cricket News. West Indies cricket legend Sir Leary Constantine and Desmond Haynes were inducted into the International Cricket Council's Hall of Fame yesterday. The late Constantine was an early pioneer of West Indies cricket and an outstanding all-rounder. He was a member of the celebrated team which played in the first test match in West Indies history in England in June of 1928, going on to play 18 test games. Haynes was one of the most successful opening batsmen in the history of the game and formed a world-famous batting partnership with his long-standing teammate Gordon Greenwich. He was a member of the West Indies World Championship team in 1979. Haynes played 116 test matches, scoring 7,487 runs, including 18 centuries, at an average of 42.3. He also made 8,648 runs in 231 one-day internationals, which included 17 centuries. 
On to tennis news, Novak Djokovic claimed a 19th Grand Slam title and became the first man in 52 years to win all four majors twice when he came from two sets down to beat Stefano Tsitsipas in a gripping French Open final yesterday. The world number one triumphed 6-7, 2-6, 6-3, 6-2, 6-4, over the Greek 22-year-old who was playing in his first slam final. Now Djokovic is now just one major away from equaling the all-time record of 20 jointly held by Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. It was a second French Open crown for Djokovic after his 2016 victory and adds to his nine Australian Opens, five Wimbledon titles and three at the US Open. The 34-year-old is the first man since Roy Lava in 1969 to win all four slams on multiple occasions and just the third in history. He is also the first man ever to win a slam title by twice coming back from two sets down in the same tournament. Now Djokovic won 84 career titles in total, while yesterday's win pushed him to the brink of $150 million in prize money. Now to end tonight's sports package, we present you with the play of the night, Derek Jones Jr.'s dunk versus the Orlando Magic. Waiters, after Jones Jr. gets into the paint, look out below! What a finish! That got Chris Bosh to jump right out of his seat. Stu, an airplane mode went up top. Obuchovic there and finished with authority. Stretch it out. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. We now head back to the news desk with Tamara Mikhail.